Hey everyone, I'm Enrico from John B. Anthony Company. Today we're going to be setting up an Allen & Heath SQ6 as a fader controller in Pro Tools. The process is the exact same for an SQ5, 6, or 7. In fact, once we're on the computer, it's the same setup process for the Q and the DLive consoles as well. Before we jump in, don't forget to subscribe to JBA University and click the bell for notifications. First thing we're going to do is set up our faders on the SQ. We can control up to 32 once we're in Pro Tools. For the SQ5 and 6, we're going to have to spread those channels across two layers, and the SQ7 can handle all 32 at once. Let's head over to our setup page so we can configure the faders. You're then going to press Surface and then Strip Assign. We have four different types of channels we can choose from, and you want to select DCA slash MIDI. So if you scroll past DCA, you'll see I have my MIDI channels now. You're going to take them and just simply drag them down and it'll populate each fader for you. Now remember, we can control up to 32 channels on all three boards, but we only have 16 faders on the SQ5 and 24 on the SQ6. You can set up as many or as few as you like, but know that the hue control for Pro Tools is gonna work in blocks of eight. So there's something else to note here, and this is all preference. You may only want to set up 16 or 24 channels if you're on the SQ5 or 6, if you want to stay on one layer. You can split all 32 channels across two layers, and this is really just how you want to set things up for yourself. Here I have layer D set up with 24 faders going across, where I have 32 channels split across layers E and F, just to show you two examples of how this can work. So, what if you're on the SQ6 and your session has more than 24 channels, or 32 for that matter? We can program the soft keys to bank up and down in blocks of eight. If I'm mixing more than 32 channels, I can still access everything. Set bank up and bank down, let's it over to the soft controls tab. This is also under setup. You're going to select surface and then soft controls, which is right next to strip assign. You can assign these to any soft key, but my preference is to use soft seven and soft eight during my mix down. We're going to take soft 7 and assign it to DAW control and bank down. Then we're going to take soft 8, again assigning to DAW control, then bank up. Make sure to hit apply when you're done. Next, let's head over to utility. You're going to select general, then select MIDI. Here we have our playback controls. I find it useful to leave the SQ on the screen if you want to control playback. Under there, we have our MIDI channel set up. We can leave this on one if we have no other MIDI device. But take note that under MIDI DAW control, it's going to say two. This will always be one channel higher than the MIDI channel. To the right, we have our fader law. We have two options to select from, linear taper and audio taper. Linear taper is going to be the same evenness through the faders up and down as we go through the motions, and audio taper will have a higher range of motion that's controlling the volume inside Pro Tools at the top and a tighter range of motion as we get towards the bottom. Select your personal preference and hit apply when you're done. We set everything up we need on our SQ. Let's head over to our computer now. The first thing we have to do is install our DAW control software. I'm going to put a link down below to the particular page that I'm on, you're going to download either the Windows or Mac installer based on your computer. And you can see here that we have Catalina and Big Sur support that were recently added, as well as the ability to use the Avantis and AHM controllers. Once you have that downloaded and installed, you're going to head over to DAW Control. And you can alternatively pull it up here once it's opened. For my mixer, I'm going to select SQ. MIDI channel 2, just like we just talked about, and protocol, I'm going to select Huey because that's what Pro Tools uses. I'm going to do MIDI ports. I'm not doing this over Ethernet. I'm hooked up over USB. So input port is going to be SQ MIDI out, pretty much your only option. And again, SQ MIDI in, pretty much your only option. Once that's configured, head over to Pro Tools. You're going to go to Setup, MIDI, and MIDI Input Devices. I mentioned before the ability to control up to 32 faders in banks of eight. This is how you determine that. If you wanna work with 24 faders, for example, because I have an SQ6 with me, I might wanna uncheck this so I move in blocks of 24 as I bank up and down. 
if you want to use all 32, you just make sure all four of these are selected as well as SQ MIDI out. Once you decide how you want to configure the mixer layout with your SQ in relation to Pro Tools, go ahead and hit OK. Then go back into Setup, and this time we're going to click Peripherals. Here, you're going to select MIDI controller. Make sure all four of these are Huey or however many you had selected. And then you're going to do DAW MIDI 1, DAW MIDI 2, MIDI 3, and MIDI 4. Repeat this for your Send 2s. For the channels, you'll see that you're locked in at 8. You're going to hit OK. Once that's all done, you're ready to start mixing. I can use my SQ faders now to move inside Pro Tools, and I can use Pro Tools to control my SQ. If you need to move past the first 32 faders, you can use Soft 7 and Soft 8 to bank up and down. If you have any questions or want to see a deep dive on some other SQ features, you can leave a comment down below. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like button, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to JBA University and hit the notification bell so you find out when we put out more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.